Thanks, Allison. We are so very fortunate to have such a tremendous cultural asset in the community like Ronaldo House Museum of American Art, and more importantly, the eagerness on the part of the leadership of this great institution, its board and staff, to work together with SICA to make meaningful contributions to our programming and the assets that Ronaldo House provides to better the community and to improve appreciation for contemporary art. I am so grateful to Ronaldo House and a whole host of other institutions who have across this 2009 calendar year and will towards the close as well support um, the artists who Stephen Maticio has commissioned to do wonderful works of art um, on Sika's behalf and to engage the community in unexpected ways. I like that word unexpected. Um, I think equally important as the city anticipates its new identity as the city of arts and, arts and um, innovation, of course entertainment comes along too, but arts and innovation are so central, they're partners, conspirators even, in uh, the creative process and it's important for SICA to have a footprint and to be a partner in that enterprise and to the extent that we can promote public art and enlightenment around the idea of innovation as expressed in contemporary ways by the artists with whom we work, we are thrilled to do so. I really am so grateful to the audience who's here tonight. We've got a terrific um, artist who our curator, Stephen Maticio, will introduce. And I know you're going to enjoy thoroughly seeing the breadth of his magnificent work. He's a tremendous artist nationally, but he is so well known. I, I sort of chided Mark uh, when I first met him. I said, you must have a chairman's preferred membership on darn near every airplane, air carrier that um, I know about. Um, he is traveling extensively across the globe, um, installing his pieces and provoking the public in unexpected ways. And to tell you more about that, I'd like to introduce Stephen Maticio, our curator, who will introduce our guest. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, before I introduce Mark, I just want to offer a round of thank yous because there were so many people really that made this project possible, and I want to acknowledge them tonight at this artist talk and launch party following that. Before I start, could I please remind you just to shut off any cell phones or pagers so that we don't have any interruptions during the talk? I wanted to, to thank some of our sponsors first. Uh, the Arts Council of Winston-Salem, the James G. Haynes Foundation, and the Department of Cultural Resources really allow us to do this programming. Without their support, it wouldn't be possible. Uh, Scotch 3M provided all of the tape that we used for these many projects, and we owe a big thanks to them because we went through a lot of it. <laughs> and also, a, a continuing thanks to the Sundance Hotel, Spa, and Wellness Center, who have provided housing for all of our artists and really provide a friendly atmosphere for our artists as well. I want to share Mark's thanks to Renolda House and to Allison, to Phil, to Sarah, to Kathleen, to everyone here for being such a great partner, both as a place to present Mark's artist talk, but also as a venue in presenting artworks in Kianga Ford's work and also in Mark's work. They've just been such a generous partner and we really are fortunate to work with them. I wanted to give a special thanks to the volunteers that helped Mark in the production studio slash Empty Sika Gallery. It, uh, it really became a hub of activity this past week. Uh, I can't quite see you because the audience is dark, but if there's any of our volunteers, uh, Trisha, Mandy, Carla, uh, Martha, if you're in the audience, thank you. I want to give a huge thanks to David Finn's sculpture class at Wake Forest University. His intro class, his senior class, did a lot of volunteering enthusiastically and really helped us out. And thank you to Amanda, Kim, Kelly and especially CJ, who were actually the models for our casts and were. <laughs> very patient, we're very appreciative of them. They didn't have to go to the bathroom during the casting process, so 
it really worked out well, and we're excited that actual people from this community can be the skins that go out into the community as we roll out these projects. And I want to thank the staff at SECA, really. It's, um, I think, curatorial. We, I've commissioned Mark, but really the entire staff makes this possible. Cliff Dosel and Mark Graves were a huge help in installing these works. Andy Abiel and Michael Cristiano were essential in shaping the programmatic structure. And Mark Leach, Karen Burnett, Beth Macy, Lynn Jessup, Karen Burnett, uh, Ellen Wallace, and Todd Blackwell were all really, really helpful in cutting tape, crumpling newspaper, making it all happen, all the prep work that makes the finished product successful. And I want to thank Mark Jenkins and introduce him as well. Mark is a Washington, D.C.-based street artist who inhabits this paradox of being an underground international phenomenon known for his cast figures made out of this humble medium of packing tape. And Mark is visiting us here for ever so brief a moment and going to Moscow in five days to do a whole new installation. And in this past year, just to name a few of the places, he's been in Bordeaux, in Belgrade, in Tokyo, in Seoul, South Korea. To add to his installations in Sweden, Brazil, Spain, London, he really has traveled the world. And what makes it even more remarkable is that Mark really doesn't have any formal training in art, but his, sculpt, his work can be read in the context of sculpture, but he describes them more as questions. These are things that are allowed to go and live in the urban environment. It's less about the preciousness of the art object and more about an art of social experimentation. And that can really only happen in a public setting. It creates these quickening moments in the pulse of a city's life. They become flashpoints when there are moments of comedy, absurdity, humor, tragedy, and ultimately curiosity. The events of yesterday, I'm sure some of you have heard of the media, were just one example of one of the more intense moments that this happened. And while we regret and apologize that a false alarm was created, I want to recognize that this kick-started, again, the dialogue that has happened internationally about uses of public space, about the routines, the protocols, the people of public space. You'll see in Mark's artist talk that this really is an international dialogue and Winston-Salem has now become part of it. Please welcome Mark Jenkins. Uh, hello. Um, I guess first, I guess I'll just double uh, that thanks that Stephen gave to everybody. And uh, yeah, I definitely appreciated everybody's help to make this, uh, this project happen. Um, and it's fun to be here for, for a week or so. It's been neat uh, meeting a lot of people from Winston-Salem and uh, wrapping them up in tape and all that good stuff. Um, so with that said, um, I guess my talk tonight, um, I'm going to talk some about my work, but also kind of just put it in context of kind of a larger perspective that includes uh, street art and graffiti, but also sort of the city as a uh, kind of a, a larger, oh, thanks Michael for this one, <laughs> um, just kind of the city as a larger entity and uh, lately I've been kind of using a sort of visual paradigm for myself to kind of see the city uh, and I'm kind of using uh, the human body as an analogy to that and so hence the title of the human city and with that I guess let's begin. So uh, I guess when I look at cities, a lot of what I notice is the flow. Um, for my installations, it's usually kind of placing them in some sort of context where they're going to encounter that flow, whether it's uh, cars or, you know, the passerby. But, you know, these flows to me are kind of like, you know, with that human body analogy, sort of like, you know, the veins in a, in a body and, you know, the way the blood travels through the body is to me is similar to the way that people pass through the city with the traffic patterns and the, you know, what happens in the sidewalks and 